everybody on YouTube and welcome to my bathroom. I am going to show you today my disaster that happened to me. We live in Michigan. It's springtime. This past weekend we had a wonderful, wonderful weather and I was out in the yard cleaning out leaves. Um, because it's Michigan, a lot of times we don't get to the leaves in the fall. Trey decided to join us. Um, so what happened to me was I was out in the yard and I was pulling a few weeds, making room for the tulips and the daffodils that were coming up, and I touched a vine. I knew right away that it was poison ivy. So when I finished, I um, cleaned up the yard and everything. I came in, forgot about touching the um, poison ivy vine. Didn't think a real big deal about it, and then about two days later, sure enough, I started getting a little bubble here on my wrist. Then, a couple days later, all over on my belly. And because I nurse the babies, every time I get poison ivy on my hands, and it's always right where I was wearing gloves, right where the gloves stop, I end up transferring it to my belly from holding the baby. And now baby Trey's starting to get it on his head from touching me. Um, I apparently had some of the oil still on me, and I had forgotten I got this um, Technu um, as a sample with another product that we bought, and I believe it came with the Super Ivy Dry. The Super um, or Ivy Dry Super is really, really good for cleaning um, or getting the rash to dry up and go away. It helps stop the oozing. Really, really good. Um, but I found the Technu. You're supposed to wash your um, clothes with it, wash your materials like your gloves or anything in it. And you can also put it directly on your skin and then you're supposed to wash it off a couple minutes later. I have been leaving it on and not washing it off. It is drying up faster than any any other product I've ever, ever used. The problem with um, this is it is a lotion. And I don't want to keep getting it on my fingers. So I'll show you what I've been doing is just uh, saturating a cotton ball and I've been using a new cotton ball for each area that I have um, the poison ivy infected on me and rub it on that spot. It says rub it in for two minutes but I don't want to sit there and rub it for two minutes because then that feels like I'm itching it and spreading it and making it worse. And then I don't want to recontaminate the bottle so you want to use a new cotton ball for each area or each time you have to add a little bit more so that you're not going to leave that poison ivy oil or anything on the bottle. Hi mommy. Hi Jack, I'm making a YouTube video right now. So then I've got this spot here. Uh, it's been catching it as it's spreading and that's the thing that I really like about this product that like calamine lotion um, I get poison ivy a couple times every year. In our yard we have got some English ivy growing on the side of the property line and um, it's <clears throat> heavily infected with the with the poison ivy. So uh, if you get poison ivy at all, this is by Tech Labs. It's called Technu. Um, it's a skin cleanser and protectant. And then um, by Zytrel or um, yes, Ivy Dry Super and really, really good. You can use this on the kids and I've been using both of them just on a cotton ball on tray and it's not getting, it's not spreading or getting any worse on him. So, um, sorry about the sight of the baby belly, but, um, you know, that's what happens when you have babies. So, we'll get rid of the poison ivy and we should be gone with it in a couple of days. Could you make that? Yeah, 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 yeah.